Counter protesters made up of many different groups. They were united in one cause, though, countering the hate. Annalisa Gale now with more on their motivations. As white nationalists rallied in front of the White House on Sunday, counter protesters blocked out their message by preaching inclusion. With the two groups separated by a barrier, it was clear that there were more counter protesters in Lafayette Park than white nationalists. How does it feel knowing that there are more counter protesters here today? I feel elated. I feel excited. I know that our country is going in the right direction based on what I see out here right now. There's no, it's 2018, there's no room for that anymore. We're half Chinese, our mom is an immigrant, and we wanted to be here to show that we stand for something. I wanted to be a uh, um, white American individual on this side to stand up because it doesn't have to be between one side or the other. And while counter protesters focused on speaking out against hate, they also took the time to remember Heather Heyer, who died during the first Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville. The crowd proclaimed victory as the white nationalists left Lafayette Park. Our Annalisa Gale live tonight outside the Wilson building. Annalisa, D.C. leaders evaluating how police handled today's protests. From our point of view back here, it looked like there were shifting crowds and there was a lot of chaos, but the police seemed to have it under control tonight. Kimberly, that's for sure. Mayor Bowser and Chief Newsham both applauding the D.C. Police Department for a job well done today in terms of keeping the counter protesters and the white nationalists separated. We do know there was one an arrest. A 44 year old man from Pennsylvania identified as John Mulligan. Here's what Chief Newsham had to say about what he did. After he assaulted a man, uh, the suspect approached the vic victim and pepper sprayed him in the face. Uh, the suspect was immediately apprehended. Uh, he was found to be in possession of a slingshot. And at this point, Chief Newsham says it's unclear whether that man who was arrested was a part of the counter protesters or if he was a white nationalist. We will find out more about that tomorrow when we obtain the court documents. Live from uh, the Wilson building tonight, Annalisa Gale, ABC 7 News.